Hello everyone, welcome to Nursing Guru. Today we are going to discuss about the adult health nursing first, which will be in a third semester BSc nursing. Okay, this is one of the important subject in a third semester BSc nursing. We are going to know about the brief introduction of the subject. Okay, in this video mainly we are going to focus on question paper pattern of the adult health nursing first and syllabus review and the meanwhile we are going to see the important questions in each and every unit. This is about the question paper pattern. We have long essay type of questions and short essay type of questions. The meanwhile short answers and multiple choice questions we are going to attend in the examination of this adult health nursing first subject. The meanwhile what we need to know how what is the weightage of the marks. Okay the first thing is long essay. We are going to attend two long essay questions in this subject and each question carries 15 marks. That means total 30 marks we are going to attend the long essay. The next thing is short essay. In the, when it comes to short essay, short essay we are having 5 questions in the question paper and each question carry 5 marks and the total marks we are going to get 25 marks we can score in this part. Okay. The next thing is short answer. When it comes to the short answers we have 4 questions in the question paper then each question carries 2 marks. Then the last part of the question paper is MCQs means multiple choice questions. In this multiple choice questions they are going to ask one question which is in the form of uh, fill in the blanks and they are they only providing that four options below the questions. Like that kind of questions we have 12 in the question paper and each question carries one one mark and in this part we are going to score 12 marks. The total marks is 12 marks. The entire paper carries to 75 marks. This is the question paper pattern of this adult health nursing first. Still now we have discussed about the question paper pattern of adult health nursing first. In a third semester BSc nursing we are going to study about this subject right. We need to know about the syllabus of this subject purely to study the subject. Yes or no then only we can able to tackle the examination very nicely. That is the purpose we should thorough with the syllabus. The first thing is we have a 11 units in this particular subject and the first unit is introduction. In this introduction we are going to study about the trends of medical surgical nursing and roles and responsibility of a nurse in inpatient department, outpatient department and intensive care unit. Okay what are the roles and responsibility you are going to study in this unit and the meanwhile we are going to study about the wound care procedures okay dressing and all we are going to study in this unit that is what all about this introduction unit the next unit is intraoperative care this is one of the very important unit in this adult health nurse nursing first. In this what we are going to study? We are going to study about the operation theater. Yes or no? In that we are going to study about the design of the OT and team members of the OT who is going to lead the team and who are present in the operation theater and what and all the care being a nurse you are going to render to your patient. Okay, means during the surgery, after the surgery and before the surgery. Okay, that kind of care you are going to give to your patient. That and all the things you are going to study in this unit. If you want to know about intraoperative care more, means you just go and check out a video in our channel. And the next thing is nursing care of patients with the common signs and symptoms and their management. This is the third unit. Okay, It is also one of the important topic in this adult health nursing. And the meanwhile we are going to study under this unit is the first one we are going to study about the fluid and electrolyte imbalances. The next one is shock and the third one is pain and its management. These are all the things we are going to study under this unit. The next thing is important questions. Important questions like how you are going to manage the electrolyte and fluid and electrolyte imbalances, then roles and responsibility of a nurse and pain management, pain assessment, like these kind of questions along with that types of shock and, ma and its management we are going to expect 
in this unit these are all the important questions we can able to expect for the semester examination the next unit is nursing management of patients with the respiratory problems okay this is also one of the important unit if you study well in anatomy and physiology regarding respiratory system you can able to study this unit very nicely okay there we are studying about the structure and functions of the respiratory system here we are going to deal with the respiratory problems which means we are going to study about the disorder of respiratory system okay like uh, asthma emphysema copd this kind of things we are going to study under this and the meanwhile we are going to know about the nursing management of the these problem okay the, that kind of things we are going to study under this unit the important questions from this unit are like what are the nursing interventions for management of the copd and pneumonia in a nursing care and what are the interventions for acute respiratory distress syndrome like this kind of questions in each and every disease condition regarding respiratory problems we can able to expect from this unit the next unit is the nursing management of patients with the disorders of digestive system okay when it comes to this unit it is also one of the very important unit we can able to expect 15 marks question from this unit because in the last semester examination conducted by the rghs we have a one question from this unit that is why you should focus more on this unit in this particular unit we are going to study about the digestive system disorders right like ulcer pancreatitis and we are going to study about this liver cirrhosis liver abscess these kind of things we are going to study in this unit then what are all the things we are going to study by this unit in digestive disorder unit we are going to study about the digestive disorders right like ulcers pancreatitis cholelithiasis and the meanwhile we are going to uh, learn about the stoma care and the meanwhile we are going to study about the liver cirrhosis and liver disorders also these kind of things we are going to study in this particular unit this is one of the important unit in this subject and last semester examination we have already one question from this unit that is what about they are asking about to write about the pancreatitis okay that is why we can able to expect the long answer question from this unit means the long essay kind of question from this unit we can able to expect then when it comes to the important questions like they are going to ask about the stomach care and they can are able to ask about the roles and responsibility of a nurse in the stomach care and they can are able to ask regarding cholelithiasis and their management okay like that kind of when it comes to the pan uh, pancreatitis they are going to ask about the man nursing management of pancreatitis and pathophysiology of a pancreatitis all about the disease condition they are going to ask in this particular unit the next unit is the nursing management of patient with the cardiovascular diseases when it comes to the cardiovascular diseases we are going to study about the disease condition regarding heart okay in that we are going to mainly focus on the vascular diseases like uh, the first one is hypertension and the meanwhile we are going to study about the myocardial infections and the meanwhile we are, we are going to concentrate all the heart diseases okay that is the things we are going to study in this unit along with that we are going to study about the what is the nursing management okay what is the nursing assessment and management for this cardiovascular diseases that we are going to study in this unit the important questions are from this unit are like we can expect the questions like what are the diagnostic evaluation or what are the diagnostic test for cardiovascular diseases and the meanwhile we are going to expect the questions like what are the management what are the nursing intervention for a myocardial infection same like this only for each and every questions we can able to expect from this unit and along with that what is the proper and priority prioritized management or nursing care for the hypertension these are all the important questions from this unit the next unit is nursing management of a patient with the 
hematologic disorders when it comes to the hematologic disorders we know that we are going to study about the blood disorders okay the disorders which is related to blood here we are going to study about the anemia and leukemia like this kind of conditions we are going to study in this unit and their nursing management each and everything we are going to study under this unit this is all about this hematologic disorder means the nursing management of patient with a hematologic disorder that is the seventh unit we are going to study anemia the anemic management and the meanwhile we are going to study about the leukemia and all and their management we are going to study when it comes to this unit the important questions are like what is the prioritized nursing care or intervention for a leukemia like this kind of or we can expect that what are the proper nursing management for anemia for adolescent girl like this kind of questions we can able to expect from this unit the seventh unit the next unit is nursing management of a patient with a endocrine disorders in this we are going to study about all endocrine disorders in this unit mainly we are going to study about the disorders of thyroid pituitary and adrenal gland along with that we are going to study about the management of them and meanwhile we are going to study about the diabetes mellitus and their management this is the things we are going to study in this unit the important questions like what are the key nursing interventions for a diabetes mellitus management what are the diagnostic test you are going to refer for your patient for a diabetes mellitus or how you are going to assess the thyroid adrenal or pituitary gland disorders these kind of questions we can able to expect from this unit endocrine disorders means the nursing management of patient with the endocrine disorders we can able to study and we can expect the important questions like these kind of questions the next unit is integumentary system care means the nursing management of a patient with a integumentary disorders or disease conditions when it comes to the integumentary we know that we are going to study about the disorders or disease condition regarding skin okay the skin related disease conditions we are going to study under this unit and at that we are going to study about the dermatitis like this kind of conditions we are going to study in this unit and their management also we are going to study the important questions in this unit we are we can able to expect the questions like what are the key components of skin assessment in nursing like this kind of questions we can able to expect and what is the proper nursing care or management for a psoriasis and alternative therapies these kind of important questions we can able to expect from this integumentary system care or integumentary disorders the next unit is the 10th unit in that 10th unit we are going to study about the nursing management of a patient with a musculoskeletal disorders in this musculoskeletal disorders by naming itself we come to know we are going to study about the disorders which is related to joints and bones okay that is the things we are going to study in this unit in that we are going to mainly focusing on fractures and arthritis and splints these kind of things we are going to study in this unit along with the proper procedures and diagnostic evaluations regarding bone and joints disorders this kind of the things we are going to focus and study in this musculoskeletal disorder unit the important questions from this unit are like this what are the key component nursing intervention for a fracture and what are the immediate care you are going to render for the patient who is undergo for a fracture like these kind of questions what is the nursing management for arthritis what are the types of fracture okay what are the things we can able to handle in a orthopedic like this kind of things we can expect in this unit and the next thing is communicable disease that is what we are going to study in the next unit that is what communicable disease means the nursing management of a patient with a communicable disease already you know communicable disease means what which will be spread from one person to another person like tuberculosis 
malaria these are all the example for the communicable disease in this unit mainly we are going to focus on the isolation quarantine and infection control and the meanwhile immunization protocol these are all the things we are going to study about this unit okay from this unit we are going to mainly focus on these kind of things and meanwhile we are going to know about all the communicable diseases like tuberculosis and malaria dengue like this kind of disease we are going to study and their management also we are going to study in the meanwhile we can expect the important questions from this unit are like what is the proper management of tuberculosis okay like this kind of things we can able to expect from this unit if you want to get a proper grip in this subject you should watch this video without skipping in our nursing guru youtube channel thank you